Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about what makes something living and answer the question, are viruses alive? When you think of life, what do you think of? Is it something that has muscles and can move like an animal? Do you think of plants? Maybe when you think of life, you imagine humans. Most people, when pressed to come up with a list that defines whether or not something is living, usually create a list that sounds like this. It must eat, it must breathe, move, and reproduce. So let me ask you this, is fire alive? Fire eats, you have to give it fuel like wood. Fire grows and gets bigger. Fire even breathes. If I take away its air, it dies. But can fire reproduce? Let's say I set the mood. Can these flames come together and make a little baby flame? Does that count as reproducing? There's a reason so many ancient humans worshiped fire and treated it as though it was living. What about viruses? Are they living? The answer is no. You might be surprised, but viruses display less living characteristics than fire. For something to be classified as living, it must display these seven characteristics. Be composed of cells, maintain homeostasis, respond to stimuli, acquire and use material and energy from its environment, grow, reproduce themselves using DNA, and have the ability to evolve. A virus is nothing more than a message in an envelope. A virus is a protein packet that contains DNA and sometimes RNA. The outside of the virus is chemically attracted to cells. The virus injects the DNA message into a cell and the cell reads the instructions. Usually the instructions are to make more viruses. A virus does not eat, it doesn't grow, it can't reproduce itself. It has to use cells to make more viruses. And the biggest one is, a virus is not made of cells. All living things are made up of cells, or at least a single cell. Viruses are much smaller than a cell. In fact, viruses are so small that we can't even see them with a light microscope. So what about bacteria? Are bacteria alive? Yeah, bacteria are alive. A bacteria is a single cell. Bacteria eat, they grow, they reproduce, they use DNA, they cover all seven characteristics of what makes something living. So again, is fire alive? Are viruses alive? Are bacteria alive? And the answer is, of course, fire is not alive. And viruses are not alive either but bacteria are. This is why we use antibiotics to kill bacteria. We don't use antibiotics to kill viruses. You can't use an antibiotic to kill a virus because a virus is not alive to begin with, but bacteria are. When you have a bacterial infection, you have a living thing that is eating you. Bacteria are eating you and growing and multiplying, and so you can take an antibiotic which poisons them and kills them. Antibiotics do not work for viruses because viruses are not alive.